Hello year two, it's Mrs McNulty here on Wednesday the 13th of January to do our phonics session today and we did say that Wednesday we're going, was going to be tricky word Wednesday okay so that's what we're thinking about today we're not going to be thinking about a different phonics sound today we'll do another one of those tomorrow we're going to be thinking about tricky words today okay and last week we changed our spellings a little bit. We had two tricky words on our spellings from last week, but then we also had four tricky words that we wanted you to practice for reading. Okay, and this was instead of our flashcards, if you remember. So we're not going to be sending our flashcards home anymore. We're going to have four tricky words on your spelling list, list to practice reading each week. So I thought today for Tricky Word Wednesday, we would just have a quick practice at those four words we should have practiced reading last week to make sure that we can still remember what they say. So I've got all four of them there that we did for last time. My lights are shining on them. Okay, so have a little think about the top one there. You've got a grown-up with you. See if you can tell your grown-up what the word says. If not, you can just shout it out loud. So the first one we practiced last week was the word people. Then we've got looked. Then called and finally we've got the word asked okay so those are the four words that you practiced reading last week okay and the thing about tricky words is the reason why we call them tricky words is because they don't always follow the rules that we know phonics often follows so very often in phonics we will learn that a certain letter or pattern of letters makes a certain sound well, then the reason why the words are tricky is because there are lots of words that we need to practice reading and spelling that don't always follow a pattern. So they are just words that you have to just know. You wouldn't be able to use your phonics knowledge to sound them out. OK, so we've got four more words that we're going to have a talk about this morning that are tricky words for this week. And these are the words that we want to practice reading this week. OK, so four more tricky words for reading. I'm going to write them down one at a time. I'm going to see if we can read them and then we're going to talk about which part is the tricky part. OK, so I'm going to write it on my table because otherwise I try to write it and it goes all wonky. So my first word is a tricky word this week. Okay, is this word. Okay, tell your grown-up if you think you know what that word says. Okay, that is the word why. Okay, now this word I don't think is actually too tricky and it does sort of follow the patterns that we've been thinking of in phonics. Okay, because we do know that W and H can go together to make the W sound. And then usually we know that Y at the end of the word makes an E sound, don't we? Like in happy or funny or silly. But we have actually practiced already some words with the same sound as this one because this word is the word why. Whereas in our phonic sessions a couple of weeks ago, we practiced having words like these ones. Oh, there we go. Like cry and fly, which actually do follow the same pattern as our tricky word Y from today because in these words the Y isn't making an E sound the Y is making an I sound isn't it so cry fly and Y all do follow the same kind of pattern so Y is WH to make the W sound and it is letter Y to make the I sound okay so our word is Y well done so, tricky word for reading number one was why. Okay, next one. We have talked about this one quite a bit in our phonics sessions because it's one that we often get muddled up. Okay, we have got this one. So, it's W-H-E-R-E. -E. If you think you know what that word says, tell your grown-up or shout it out. Now, that word is one that we often get mixed up with this word isn't it we often get those ones up and that's because there's only one letter difference okay so this time the bottom word is the word where isn't it and we sometimes get where and were mixed up and we've said we have to remember were doesn't have the h in 
to make the whoop sound. It's just a W on its own, whereas where does have the H in, okay? And that kind of where is the where that we might use when we're asking a question. So where are you? It's not which clothes are you wearing. It's not that kind of where. So W-H-E-R-E is where, like the question word, where are you going? Now, the reason why where is so tricky, it's not the start of the word, because like we said with why, we know that WH can make a what sound. So it's this part, the ERE, -E, at the end that makes it tricky. Because normally we would know that if we've got ERE, -E, we might think that that might be a split digraph E sound and make the, the sound E. So this word we know says here, doesn't it? E -er. Whereas in this word, the ERE at the end is making the air sound to make where. So if we try to sound that word out, it would not work. We just have to remember that it is the word where. Okay, so W H E R E says where. Well done. So that's tricky word number two. So tricky word number one was why, W H Y. Tricky word number two, where, W H E R E. Uh, tricky word number three for today then. See if you can shout that word out or tell your grown up at home what word that one is. Hopefully you said that was the word who. So that's another kind of question word, isn't it? Who are you? Now this time, the WH, the digraph we've got at the start, W and H together, doesn't make a W sound in this word. So we would find that really hard to sound out because we know that normally WH does make a W sound. So the reason why who is such a tricky word to read is because the W and the H is not making a whoop sound, it's making a huh sound, isn't it, this time? Who? It's as if we've got a silent W this time, and it's the H, the H huh sound we can hear. And then also at the end, we've got just one O to make the O sound. Normally we would have how many O's to make an O sound? And we would know that two O's make an O sound, don't they? So the word who, W, H and O, spelling who, okay? Hopefully we can remember that tricky word for reading. Last one, this one doesn't start with W, H today. Our last one, our fourth tricky word for reading. Bit tricky this one, but I bet you'll get it right. Okay, so if you can read that word out loud, tell your grown up or shout it out. What word does that one say? That's a very tricky word. It's got a very unusual spelling, that one. That one is the word water, isn't it? Well done if you said water. Okay, so this time we've got letter A in the middle of the word making the O sound. Okay, letter A doesn't normally make an O sound, does it? It normally makes an A sound in a word. Okay, or we might look at that word and if we weren't sure what it was and we wanted to sound it out, again, we might look and think that that could be a split digraph. And we might think that might be waiter, waiter. Okay, so again, it's one of those tricky words that we can't sound out. We just have to know. So W-A-T-E-R, if we were reading it, is the word water. Super job, well done you too. So we've practiced reading four tricky words this morning. So we're now going to just move on quickly to spelling some tricky words. Now last week you had two tricky words on your spelling list. You had the word love and you had the word you had the word love and you had the word your. I'd forgotten that I had to check my list here too. You had the word love and the word your. So I would like to see if using your whiteboard and pen, you can still remember how to spell those words. I saw lots of spelling tests last week with lots of super spellings correctly. So if you haven't got your whiteboard and pen in front of you, you can pause the video and just go and grab it now. And then I would like you to write on your whiteboard the word love and on your whiteboard the word your and you can get your grown up to check whether you've still remembered to spell those words correctly so pause the video if you like and i'm going to ask you to spell those words and then once you've spelt them you can unpause and we'll carry on okay 
hopefully that is how you spelt them then. So love, L-O-V-E, and your Y-O-U-R. Again, tricky words, we couldn't sound them out. So if we wanted to use our phonics knowledge to help us to spell them, it wouldn't work. We just have to remember how to spell those words. Okay, for this week then, this week you've got two other tricky words. We have got two words that actually we've already talked about today because you've got two tricky words to spell this week that we practiced reading last week and we're going to think about practicing spelling them this week. So your tricky words for spelling on your spelling list are the word people and the word looked. We're going to just have a quick chat about what we have to remember when we're spelling those words and why they are tricky. Okay, so if we take people first, I can't get it in the right place, there we go. If we take the word people then, in the middle of people, we've got an O, a letter O there. Now, if I listen to the word people, I don't hear an O or an O sound. So that's one reason why it is so tricky, because it's got a sneaky little O in the middle in the word people. And also, we've got one E making the E sound. And we normally know, like with the O earlier, we normally know that we need two E's to make the E sound. Okay? So people, P-E-O. P -L -E. We have done words with the L-E making the L ending, haven't we already? So it is the E and the O in the middle that make that one tricky. Right? And then in the bottom word, we've got the word looked. And if you say the word looked, we've talked about this before in literacy as well. If we say the word looked, it sounds like it's got a T at the end, doesn't it? And we know instead of looked, when we're making the word past tense, we can add E-D, Uncle Ed, at the end. Okay, so the look part, that's not tricky. It's the ED at the end, which can sound like it makes a T sound, but actually we use E and D. So what I would like you to do for your phonics learning today and for your activity, I would like you to have a practice at writing the word people and the word looked. So again, you might want to pause the video, not have a little look. So cover your eyes and write it down on your board. And then you can unpause the video and check that you spelt them right. If you want to give yourself a little bit of a challenge, what you could do is ask your grown up to set a timer for one minute, either on their phone or you can find a one minute timer on YouTube. and Have a see how many times you could write the word people in one minute. And then you could do another timer and see how many times you can write the word looked in one minute. So that could be a little challenge. But I would like to see. A little photograph of your board where you have covered your eyes and not looked at the words and practiced writing people and also looked. And then I would also like to see if you could put those words in a sentence. OK, so hopefully I will see a photograph of your board with the words written down. You've spelt them correctly, remembering the E and the O and remembering the E and the D, which are the tricky parts. And then I would love to see some sentences that you have written with the word people in. And with the word looked. Okay, remember when you're writing your sentences, our sentences need a capital letter, our sentence need a full stop, lovely finger spaces in between, and remember to keep practicing your cursive handwriting. Okay, so keep making sure that you've got your leading stroke at the start of every letter, and every letter has started from the bottom. Okay. If you would like to, you can use Phonics Play. Um, we know that Phonics Play has got the game Tricky Word Trucks and you can choose whichever phase you are practicing. So at the minute we're working through our phase five tricky words. Okay, So you should definitely be able to read the phase four and some of the phase five ones. So if you would like to have a little tricky word challenge, you can use Tricky Word Trucks on Phonics Play. Select some words and see how quickly you can manage to read those ones or how many you can read in the time. OK, well done. We've had quite a long phonics session today. Well done for listening so carefully. I look forward to seeing your whiteboards with your super writing, your super spellings and sentences on. We'll see you tomorrow for another different sound tomorrow. OK, thank you, year two. Keep working hard and we'll see you soon. Bye.